Christopher Chavez here from the Christopher Chavez channel coming to you with another video and today I'm gonna be talking about the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Miami Heat and I'm gonna tell you guys what my thoughts are on what's gonna happen with the teams towards the end of the season and where they're gonna end up so basically you all know I'm a big Miami Heat fan and I'm a big LeBron fan didn't like didn't like how he left in the summer but you know things happen for a reason LeBron James had a great ride with the Heat, by the way. Um, what I think for the Heat, the Heat are probably going to end up being the fourth seed at best. You know, the reality of the matter is the Heat are not going to do that, ma that much damage due to the fact that LeBron left and the best player in the world leaves your team. You're, you, you, you're not going to be as good as you were before, obviously. The Heat, they're probably going to end up being a fourth, maybe fifth, maybe sixth, but not. Pop I don't think it's going to be. It's going to be the sixth seed, fourth seed, maybe third seed. Depends on what happens with the Cavaliers in Chicago and Toronto, Washington. I got them at four or five. We'll we'll see what happens as the season goes on. I got Dwayne Wade playing at least 65 games this season, and I also got him averaging around 22 to 23 a night, and Chris Bosh ending up with around 23 to 24 a night. You know they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna do the 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 scoring load this season. They're probably gonna end up, in my opinion, with around 49 to 51 wins, depending on what happens. Um. Mario Chalmers, Norris Cole, Shabazz Napier, they're going to have to be big for the Heat this season as the season goes on. Right now we're 5 and 4, but it's it's only the beginning. We got to integrate um, Josh McRoberts and uh, Danny Granger. I haven't seen that guy step on the floor at all this year, so he, he, he when he, when they all when the team all comes together, when it all comes together, the team will probably end up being a fourth or third seed. As for my dog LeBron James, congratulations on going back to your hometown. You already know uh, my dog is putting up MVP numbers this season so far, but it's early still, so we can't make assumptions. Uh, Kevin Durant's out. Heartbreak for the Thunder. In my opinion, the Cavaliers are going to end up being at the number one seed or the number two seed at best at the end when it's all said and done. Kevin Love, double-double, you already know. Kyrie Irving, 23-8. and eight. LeBron James, in my opinion, is going to end up averaging 29-6-8. and eight. In my opinion, 29, 29 points, 8 rebounds, 6 assists, MVP numbers, and he will win the MVP this season. The way he's been playing so far, man, LeBron is gonna is on a mission this year. He wants to take his team, he wants to bring a uh, championship to his town. That's my my opinion. 5-3, and three, the Heat are 5-4 right now. We got a game against the Bucks tonight. I think the Heat are going to probably blow them out tonight. And I think we got Brooklyn on Monday. So, you know, um, stay tuned because I'm going to be making more videos about... Uh, I'm going to change it up and start talking about the Miami Heat and the Cleveland Cavaliers here on your Christopher Chavez channel. Uh, might even change the logo. Um, as to see, as you guys can see, I might change the logo of the channel and start talking more about sports. And stay tuned because I'm going to be talking more about the Cleveland Cavaliers, LeBron, Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosh, and all that good stuff coming up. So subscribe, comment down below any questions you got th on the thumbnail. Um, have a great holiday season, and I will see you in my next video coming up about the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Miami Heat this week. So peace, y'all.